What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction. We are back with Walter's World. Why Germany annoys American tourists so much. Before we dive in to figure this out, if you guys happen to enjoy it, please don't forget to smash subscribe, get the video a thumbs up, and see what it is about Germany. Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're here in Bamberg, Germany, my favorite city to come visit in Germany. And we're back to help our German friends know what is it that annoys American tourists when they come here to Germany. And I'm going to start with the toilet <laughs> issue, out. and that is having to pay to use the I'll public toilet. Now, yeah. we appreciate the Toilettenfrauen. They keep it clean because the bathrooms here in Germany are super clean. Okay. But it's one of those things that people don't know that they need to pay for the toilet. So it really upsets them when they go down to go and they've really got to go, but I don't have 50 cents or a Euro or a Euro 50 and I got to go scrounge up and find some coins. Especially when everything they're trying to do is everything tap and go now. So that's one thing that really annoys them is the pay to pee kind of thing. Another yeah. thing, the second thing that it is because we think about like if I were like going like at a pub, I don't know if you guys charge like because when I get to drinking a lot of alcohol, I have to pee a lot. But if I'm paying for the alcohol there at the bar, y'all aren't gonna surely y'all aren't gonna <coughs> charge me to use the restroom as well because I'm gonna be peeing a lot. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess it does help keep the restrooms clean so. I'm not mad about that. Uh, that works for Germany. I don't want to pay to pee, but it helps keep the rest pay the people to keep the restrooms clean. So that works for Germany. That annoys them is when they go out to eat here, Americans, we love to eat. We love the service side of going out to eat and the experience and all kinds of stuff. And the servers coming back and we chit chat and it's a, it's a game in America where we kind of talk back and forth and the <laughs> tips and all kinds of stuff, right? That's how yeah. we roll. But I'll when Americans that. come to Germany, they get a little upset because they really need to make sure they have their entire order ready the first time the waiter comes by. It's like, I've only had my oh. menu for a minute. I can't read all these things here. What am I gonna do? Could you come back in a second? And of course, the German waiters and waitresses are super professional, okay? Yeah. And they say, yes, of course. We'll give you plenty of time. I can give you some recommendations you know, before I go and they'll help yeah. you out and then they'll leave. And then you figure out what you want and then Two, three, four, five, ten minutes goes by. You're like, where are they? <laughs> I mean, my American friends, we must realize when the waiters come, have your order ready so you can order your drink, your appetizer, and your main meal because they don't always come around. And believe me, as much as you stare at them trying to get their eye contact and wave, nine, they don't see you. <laughs> they, they don't see you. I'm sorry. They'll be like, is that dude a little crazy over there? I think he needs he's got something wrong over there. What's with those American tourists, right? So that's something to think about. And I think another thing that kind of annoys uh, I feel like that I would only get frustrated like if they came up to be like two minutes after I received my menu and I haven't had a chance to look over everything. Uh, and then they waited like 15 minutes to come back again then I would kind of be frustrated because it's like, if you would have gave me like five to 10 minutes in the first place, like I would have had my order ready. But uh, but if they're giving out recommendations and everything, I don't know what to eat in Germany. I'd probably just go off their recommendations. So it wouldn't be an issue with me. Americans, when they, when they come to Germany, is the service. And it's not the professionalness, because that's one thing I gotta say. Service in Germany is super professional. If you're mm -hmm. getting clothes and you need help with a size or a color, they will be helpful with that in a professional way, okay? Not okay. the over-the-top American way. And I think that's <laughs> one thing Americans don't realize is you don't have the over-the-top service here. And so that's why they're kind of like annoyed that there isn't the over-the-top the customer's always right kind of mentality that there is in the that. U.S. a lot of places, okay? So I'm not saying these annoyances are wrong or right. I'm just letting you know these are things that your American friends might be like, Err, Germany, I love it so much. But there's a few things, right? Now, another one that'll get them, especially if they're going... I've heard that in different videos, uh, service, uh, when leaving America, like in Europe, is much different. Um, and then, I mean, Europeans don't really appreciate American service, Americans expect American service everywhere, which, which I don't know, baffles me, but just different types of customer service. One of the Christmas markets is the fund. The deposit oh. on glasses. Let's say I'm taking my family of four and we're getting two hot wines and two Kinder Punches. So that's four mugs and it's five euros each. So I give them a 20 euros and they're like, oh no, 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 no. That's not 20 euros. That's gonna be 32 euros. Like, wait, 32 oh. euros? Why? 
Oh, because there's a four euro fund deposit on each one of the glasses. And all of a sudden you're like, I only brought a 20 up here. Now I got to go back to my wife. I'm sorry, Jocelyn. Could I have more money? Because they need the deposit back. And that kind of annoys them. You might see it at beer gardens as well. But here's the thing, my American friends, it does annoy us, right? But just take it back when you're done and That's you get it. your money back. They're really that cool easy. like that, okay? Now, another thing that annoys... It's that easy. Just take it right back to them. Get your money back. Boom. Bang. Shabam. That would be, it shouldn't be too difficult. It be too not difficult. just American tourists, but a lot of tourists when they come here to Germany is when you take public transportation, how the Germans like bum rush the entrance and exit of the train, the subway, the bus. It's like, could, could, I, could I get out of the train first before 50 yeah. people try to come in? I mean, you can't wait for the train to stop and then get up from your seat and go to the thing because people are already coming in. You've got to be That's at crazy. the door, ready to go, kind of like, I got my bags, I got my bags. That's crazy. That's and that's crazy. one of those things that really gets Americans They're like, why are they shoving us? We're just trying to get off the train. We're giving them space on the train. What's going on? So, uh, yeah, my, my German friends, they, 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 they do kind of find that a bit annoying. And I guess that kind of goes. That would, that would be annoying because, like, I'm trying to get off. And I feel like there's got to be a better system than, than people trying to bum rush in and people trying to bum rush out. There's got to be a better system in place than that. I don't know if the train going to leave without people, and that's the reason, or what's going on, but got to be a better system than getting bum rushed. Goes in with the next thing that bothers American tourists and also British tourists, and that is the non existent line culture here in Germany. <laughs> you know, other places people wait in line. I'll wait for my turn, then I'm next. I've been here yeah. the longest time. I'll go for the first. Like, people kind of yeah. have that. Even in the US, if it's not necessarily a straight line, everyone knows who came first, who you're after. Right. In Germany, oh, no, no, no. The hotel I'm at now, they don't have check in until three. I have my bags and my suitcase and my mom and dad's suitcase. I got all that stuff by the door so when it opens up, I can be first. And I'm standing right next to it. Like I'm standing like right here and here's the door. Guy comes in, is, is trying to get in. It's like, oh, it's not there. And then he like stands in front of the door. I'm like, dude, I've been here for 45 minutes. There is no way you are going to get in before me. It's not happening. But in Germany, like, oh, you were waiting here? And you'll see it in line, whether you're like at a government agency or you're trying to buy something. If you're not like right up on the next person, someone will like come step in. Oh, I didn't realize you were in a line there. I mean, it it drives uh, tourists crazy, the German line culture. All oh, right. Shoot. I feel like that's up Americans will adjust to very quickly. Because America, I feel like American love to, they love to skip ahead. Love to figure out how to get ahead in the line. They don't want to wait in that line. So, American be like, oh, that's how we do it there? Well, I'm heading to the front then. And so, but yeah, I would just be like, right. Now I'm not getting right up on somebody. I'd be like, you could, you could tell we forming a line. You could tell if someone forming a line or not. It's just a line. You can tell. Another thing that annoys Americans when they come to Germany is this. The crack in the bed. I wouldn't be mad What's at going that. on here? Is it two beds just pushed together? Yes, actually it is. And if you're not careful, like this bed, it's actually set up to put the two single beds in there. But if you're in a normal kind of hotel room and they're just two beds pushed together, they separate. Oh. <sighs> yes, this does annoy a few Americans because they like to have two and a half kids. Per, per couple and in Germany I know the birth rate's a lot lower so maybe that explains it I don't know but this is one thing that I do hear people go like I lost my child I lost my dad I lost someone in the crack when it comes to that so just one of those little annoyances I thought it'd be a good idea to mention and another I would culture be like you stick to your side stick to my side nobody get lost in these cracks I would sleep a little bit better. I'd <laughs> I want to talk about is the hello culture. Yes, the hello culture. For those who don't know, hello, it means hello. But when you say hello, that is a German's hello. way of saying, hey, dum dum, you're doing something wrong or not by the rules, so straighten up. And you, as someone that's not from Germany, might not know those rules. And so yeah. it kind of puts you off because it's like, wait, oh, I didn't know. Why, why are they doing this? And so it's, it's that kind of little bit of Karen DNA that's in Germans to make sure people are following the rules with that hello culture. So uh, do know that sometimes the American tourists don't understand that. So therefore, yeah. they take it the wrong way. They don't know why you're yelling at them. OK, so so do be aware of that. And, and I will say this is another um, thing that annoys not just American tourists, but when I talk to tourists from around the world, when it comes to Germany, it's kind of the, um, how do I say this? 
Germans passive aggressive superiority complex. Oh yeah, one thing I don't like being yelled at. I don't like I I that's one thing I genuinely don't like is being yelled at. I feel like I I'm, I'm very liable to snap back and I'm not a person who gets angry easily or but the yelling there's something about yelling that upset you. I, I don't like it. But uh I, I understand it before going hello, they're just saying hey you're doing something wrong, which I'm not mad about that. Because I know going in. Had I not known going in, probably would be like, what? What's wrong? And the thing is, Germans, I mean, they're smart people. They're smart people all over the world. But Germans have a certain thing like, we are Germans. We know the best. We're going to do what's best. We're going to do our research. We're going to know what's going to be right. And sometimes how they try to help you comes off wrong, right? And that's where American tourists and other tourists get upset. They're like, yes, I already know this. You don't have to tell me again. But the Germans are trying to help you by voicing and vocalizing the advice they would want to have. So they're just yeah. trying to be helpful, but it comes off as kind of a passive aggressive kind of thing. But it's mm -hmm. not really meant to be. That's just, just how they are, okay? So, so that's that. one of those really kind of you live here long enough, you kind of understand how they work. I mean, I, I, did, I lived here for two and a half years. I visited literally every year from 1996 Covid, I missed a year, and then I've been back ever since, right? Because I love coming here, yeah. So you can show Deutsch, I live Deutschland, it's a super Stadt, it's a super land, super land, yeah. But uh, yeah, there are things that annoy people. I think another thing for American tourists, which is kind of like disappointing for them, is the uh, the no shopping on Sunday thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Americans really like to go shopping on Sunday. It's a really big deal for them. I didn't realize what it was. I mean, I lived abroad for 12 years, a lot of it here in Germany. And uh, I was amazed. So I go home, and when people come visit me, they're like, wait, we, we can't go shopping on Sunday? <laughs> What's going on? We have, to, we, yeah. we have to go to the train station to shop on a Sunday? But yeah, they have the day off. It's normal. <laughs> Think like Chick fil A. Yeah. They give their people the Sunday off. Exactly. Go spend some time with your family. Go do something else. But don't exactly. go shopping. So that's another thing that I think that kind of annoys American tourists when they come. I'm not mad about that. I'm happy people get the day off. People get to unwind. People get to spend that day with family. People get to relax. Should have at least a day off. I'm not mad about that. Just be, But I do know that going in. Had I not known about that going in, then I would be frustrated. But So at the end of the day, just do your research. Figure out all the customs, cultures, rules, regulation, everything going in. So none of these things surprise me. I'm here and the thing is these are just fun little annoyances that I want to kind of help share cultural experiences for tourists coming to Germany but also for Germans to understand when you might see a frustrated tourist from the US or other places and where it's coming from so I hope this helps what are some things that frustrated you as a tourist when you came down here and remember in Germany you don't really point like this a lot of people because they don't they decide it's cool but tell me what are some of those little annoyances you had when you came here to Germany and what are some of the great things too because yes we do have a very we do have have a video on what are the things Americans fawn over when they talk about Germany. You know, like the Fachwerk and the Christmas markets and the fantastic beer and the beer gardens, the beer halls. <sighs> I think I'm going to get a drink to celebrate how much I love this country. I'll see you next time. Bye from here in Bombay, Germany. I got to check out, uh, I got to check out Germany sometime. Want to travel to the country, think it would be absolutely incredible. That's all we have. If you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, get a video, a thumbs up, and check out the next one. I'll see you guys next time. Uh...